Trend Catalyst Traders is for educational purposes only. You must consult a financial advisor before deploying real assets of any kind. Everything discussed or mentioned here are just my thoughts and ideas. After you consult a financial advisor, you must trade your plan within your means. Hello everyone. I hope traders and investors alike were green on Friday. In this video, we're going to do the best we can to recreate the price action that we had on the SPY. And of course, we can't call out every single news or every single little piece of data that we picked up on to help uh, add to the moves that we were able to get. But we're basically going to cover how we traded the one and the five minute time frame. We're going to jump back and forth and try to cover as much as we can. So coming into market open, took down yesterday's candle. So it now looks like exactly what we looked at coming into market open. We were bullish above. We went back up and tested uh, the previous day's candle, Thursday's candle. Uh, open and that candle pull back we went up there and test that that level and got rejected so we were bullish up above that level looking for a move uh, up to or above 459.89 with just being cautious around that candle close so if we go in here to the one minute time frame and we're going to take down the because we're going to be turning the the, the five minute macd on or moving average on and off because we do use the uh, five on our five minute time frame only. Uh, we use it on all the higher time frames, but not so much on the one. So I'll be clicking that indicator on and off as we go. So at market open, uh, we had it had a very nice ramp up. It you know was bleeding off, looking a little bit better. We never want the market to, to be gapped up when we open. We don't really want it to be gapped down. Prefer a flat market. You know that is what it is. They did run it up, but we did cool off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click some click some action on here. So our first candle come in with a very nice open, very nice close on it. Opened up, pulled back, and then started to move higher. And you see the moving averages uh, turning up. You can see your Bollinger Bands opening up over the 200 on that candle close, and the MACD is opening up. Now, breath was actually pulling in here a little bit. It got straight about 9.35, but about for the first five minutes, it was trying to pull back. And then it did start to go higher. Uh, the bullish flow, the flow that we picked up at, at market open was bullish at the market open, by the way. So that was another huge hint uh, that they did want to take the market up at least at market open. So we're going to get follow through or rejection in this candle, second candle starting to come back in you can see right there it broke the nine still trying to hold the 20 so remember the we're, we're kind of waiting for the first five minutes so ib drop you know drains out any trade within the first five minutes you know needs to be a scalp uh, at market open the ib and the options is a little bit higher and where we are trading short-term options we do feel that so we're waiting that five minutes before we're looking for any type of trending trade third candle trying to break lower and gets taken back up. Now we're still in these BBs right here. You can see that really nice move. We had a really nice move on those BBs. They got lazy, come through that candle because that candle come back down. And you can see their position right here to go higher, but we know we need to take out that 200. We want to be above those candles. MACD still, still looking decent there. See what the next candle gives us. The next candle, a close above right there. Let's go. See, see what we get. Bollinger Bands look great. MACD looks great. Another close above and coming back in. Left us with an H buy pattern. So right now, H buy pattern close above. It's time to go in right now, right, Gino? We're, we look great here. Bands are open. Moving averages turned up. Look great. MACD looks great. Goose head in progress. So it's time to go in, right? No. Four minutes in. Five minute candle is getting ready to open up. The first five minute candle, obviously, we're waiting to see five minutes for the candle to close. That's given IB time to get out. We're looking for strength in the stock. So we want to see the second five minute candle take out the first five minute candle. So, as good as this looks now for a scalp, if we can take the confirmation candle out of any pattern, then we can go in for a scalp. But we are not looking for a trending trade in this market yet. We need to see that second minute second minute candle we also know my discord knows a five minute candle can open up and your one minute chart loves to go in search of the nine so see what we get here next candle 
did not. This candle opened up, tried to push, come back in, did not take the confirmation candle out. At this point, we have five candles in. Let's go to the five-minute chart. Right here, so here's your five-minute candle. The 50 on the five needs to be cleared. So we're only going long if we can clear this five-minute 50 on this five-minute time frame, and that's going to allow us for a move higher. So let's go back to the one-minute time frame here. I want to do a little more time on the one, then we will go to the five. All right, this is candle, five-minute candle just opened up. One-minute candle is trying to pull back. That five-minute candle wants to come in. So the one-minute chart can go and search for the nine. So if we're just going to stay right here for five more candles. Next candle coming in, bounce back up off that nine, holding in up there great. Them Bollinger Bands still look great. Next candle coming in a little bit, starting to look a little tower topish. We're still holding our 457.52 level. All levels are on these charts way before this market ever opened up. All these levels have been on these charts, some for years. Next candle. Trying to go higher here. It's starting to look like a little flag break. One more. We're looking to clear this area. We get above this area. Your bands are suggesting more upside. We just bounce back up off the nine. Moving averages look great. I want to see some brighter green hist histogram bars coming in. This candle still not doing it. So let's draw a line real quick. So this is what we do in the Discord as we're watching lines just like this drawing like a little flag here we need a candle to close over that flag no trade unless a candle closes over that flag at this point uh, we're, we are trying to form a goose head here and your nine just turned up on that candle we just got to close above not only did we break the flag close above band suggesting more upside a bright green histogram coming into that macd see if we can go here everything looks good there we go, going higher. Nine just come outside of the pattern, and we're going higher. Stop it right here. Let's go into the five-minute time frame. Let's go to the five. All right, so you can see five-minute candle. Second five-minute candle come in search of the nine. The third five-minute candle is giving us what's called a rising one pattern here. And this could signal more upside. Now, we are a little extended. Remember, at this point, uh, we are looking for upside for confirmation on this candle. This is a 15-minute candle. It can take... Uh, it's a five minute candle. It can take 15 minutes for this candle to confirm the one, two, three rule. It can be three candles. Your third candle can still be the breakout candle and you can still confirm the rising one here on this pattern. So let's go back into the one minute time frame for now. Nice breakout. We're a little extended. We're getting outside of the BBs very nicely. This is where I like to be. There's plenty of money to be made up there for quick, fast trades. Uh, but if you're not looking for that, you're, you're, you know, this candle right here, when this candle pulled back red and then went, went up above, that was your entry. And what I do is I trade short term. So what I do is try to make money into the market. Um, my strategies are basically built around short term moves uh, for less exposure in the market, less exposure, less risk in the market. So we want to make more money with less exposure. And that's what we do. We trade short term options on the assets that we trade. I prefer SPX. I trade that off the spy chart. So when I'm saying I'm taking entries, I'm taking entries on SPX right off the same chart. So remember, less exposure, more money. That's what we do. Really nice move up here. At this point, you know, this is not where you want to get in at. That's not where you're looking to go long. Right now, we're looking for a flag and we're coming back in to do that. Want to see how we act when we catch back up with that nine. Right here, we're trying to flag. This candle right here is trying to turn higher. Looking like another H buy pattern trying to set up. This candle did go up there, but did not confirm above that range. We need something to confirm above that range or no. One more time. The reason why we cannot take a trending type trade entry till we get above this level is because this could still be a lower high. Now, Geno's price has memory scout would have worked great up there, but no trending trade until we cross that level. You need a candle to close above that level. Just like uh, back here, when we got the candle to close above the level, it was not ready yet. So we need to see, you know, follow through on the confirmation candle when we do get to close above the level. So right now we're not ready for a trending type trade right now. 
you know, H buy patterns, this is nothing but a bull flag breaking up to form an H buy pattern. We want to see confirmation of the H buy pattern. The bull flag break is scalpable. Uh, this uh, H buy pattern is nothing but a trading range. Below this level, we can look to go short. Above this level, we're looking to go long. Give us a trading range. We can take trades within the trading range, but we do not try to guess the breakout of the trading range until we get the breakout. No breakout yet. And look, next candle coming back down, holding the 9 so far. Below this level, we look for a short trade, a short trade down to the 20. So right now, it is starting to look like a lower high possible. Now, this 9 could roll over and turn back up and go higher. Sure, but it doesn't mean we take the trade yet. No trade until we get above that level. No down trade until we get below that level. I mean, no, no trade means no trade. All right, second, you know, second candle to the downside coming in. No break below that level yet. And the next candle with a nice move below that level, that candle was scalpable. So we went from an H buy pattern that turned into a small evening starish pattern up there. Not perfect. If you use a blended candle method, you can get an evening star out of that. Um, and this went to uh, to the three crows. The three red crows here, you can see your third candle is the biggest candle of this pattern. So now we have a three crows, evening star turned into three crows. Now we're looking for confirmation of the three crows. We need to confirm that before we take another trade. This candle actually give us confirmation. Looks like we do have more downside coming. Next candle coming back up to form the bear flag. Looking for a bear flag break. This candle not yet giving us the bear flag break. We are expecting more downside. Uh, we did confirm that candle pattern. Now we just have to break below the confirmation candle, which this is your confirmation candle. Having enough discipline to, and, and patience to wait on your confirmation candle to be confirmed is. And, and this is just, sure, there, you, you, know, you can make money a lot of ways trading. This is just adding the utmost probabilities to your trade possible it's all we're doing being disciplined to wait on the best setup possible that candle right there crossing that level go time see if we can get further downside this candle pattern here now looks like a falling three so now that we have a falling three can we confirm that we just confirmed the uh, we did confirm the three red crows trying to push back up here Go into the big move higher. And this move right here is actually when data come out. So we did confirm to the downside. We were going into uh, the 10 o'clock time frame. And we were expecting consumer sentiment to come out. And I actually caught that candle for a 52% trade on the SPX. And got really lucky. I did not expect to catch a trade like that. It was a wild ride. Very nice trade, very, very big move higher here. And if you were in this falling three coming in at uh, 958, so 959, 10 o'clock starting to work. If you were in this trade looking for that move down, then yes, you probably got burnt. And we could have continued lower, but data was coming in, and that's why we don't trade. We're not looking to take trades around data. Um, and I will say this was a nice move to the downside but it did fail we did have a morning star this candle closing right here barely but was trying to get back above the nine that nine was turning up on that candle so if you were in a short trade there that's just one of the times that you know you're just going to have to accept the loss and unfortunately not every single setup works so let's go to this five minute time frame now so we can see the five minute time frame. You had a decent push higher with a rising one formation and that which actually failed turned into an evening star that failed. We got that data come in for a nice move higher. Now let's turn this five minute time frame on uh, due to time. I'm going to have to try to uh, spend some time on the five minute time frame so we can cover some more data so with a candle like that to the upside we are expecting follow through we may need some things to catch up but we are definitely expecting follow through on that and you can see right here we're holding the five on the five very nicely see where our next candle so we went up 
almost touching our 459 89 level and this is what we're looking to take out so we were expecting coming off a, a vicious very savage move to the upside higher like that love to see it we were definitely expecting follow through up there so right now we at this point we're very close to the 459 89 so we can wait till we hit that level to take profits but i think that candle's good enough to take profits if not you were taking profits on this candle right here so this candle did slightly close above the 480 uh 459 89 level which is the level that we're watching um so we need to get uh the nine up there let's go into the one minute time frame because we would be actually looking to trade this you can see how nice move higher come up and then continue with continue follow through and then again with more follow through this candle touched our level come back this candle is closing up above our level here so we are expecting to go higher but we prefer to have the nine above that level uh, the, you can see the five up there um, I'm not going to turn it back up and drag it back to the five minute chart but we can see the nine up there right now you want to see the nine up there before you take any kind of trending trade higher so right now we got a candle once again a higher close could be setting up for a scalp right here higher close would be a great scalp but remember we're not looking to take a trending trade higher we can scalp here see what the next candle gives us nice push nice push nines getting ready to cross that level but still so at that point we would like to see a pullback to the nine like i say scalps only until you see your pullback into your nine we want to see the flag and make sure the flag works coming back into the nine forget the green lines there we're watching the blue line coming back into the nine so at this point we can stop it here we are looking for a flag type play we're flagging back in so we need something preferably to close over that right there if we can't get a close over that we're not looking to go any higher And that candle right there pulled back down. That candle is trying to confirm over the flag. The nine and the five both look good on the one. We're not normally watching the five, but they both actually look good there. Uh, so right now, flag break. Got to clear this level. And I know it can be a pain in the butt. You can trade up to that level if we get a move, but you're looking for another H buy pattern. We want confirmation over that H buy pattern to go higher. Remember, we're just trying to add the highest probabilities possible to uh, win the trade with. And that candle right there broke down. So once again, I know it can be a pain in the butt to have to wait for confirmation sometimes, but that is the reason why we wait. So, and at this point where I started talking, uh, this looked very tower topish up here. Not perfect, but we're starting to see a shoulder, a head. And I know a lot of you are going to look at that and be like, that's not a head and shoulders. But yeah, well, it is. Um, it's getting ready to be. And on the five, you do have an evening star. So we're going to play it off the evening star here. Can we get follow through off that evening star that did close back below our levels and back below the five? Next candle seeing follow through all from the evening star. Just confirm that down below the nine. Nice move down. And seeing follow through off of that candle. Once again, another falling three, but falling three has to confirm. The falling three does not confirm. It is not confirmation. Now let's go back to the one real quick, just so I can show that. So you got a shoulder there, you got your head, and then you got the small shoulder. You can see this in a couple of different ways. Once again, you have another evening star right here. You have an H cell pattern, or you can see the shoulder, head, shoulder. It doesn't matter how you see it. As long as you see one of those three patterns, or at least those three patterns, you can recognize that this chart's getting ready to go down. So nice follow through to the downside on that. Remember, we got to confirm this falling. Uh, sorry, we got to confirm the three stars to the south or the three red crows. Uh, I know the pattern from a couple of different names from different books that I've read throughout the years. And so no confirmation yet. Actually trying to hold that 20 with a small bullish harami there. Now, remember, nothing fancy about the bullish harami other than a significant change in character. But that bullish harami is a bullish signal and is our number one bullish signal right now. Still, it has been for quite some time. Trying to go higher, candle closing higher right there, leading back up 459.89 is the target area. So that level needs to be cleared and confirmed. Candle closing up above right there. So once again, this area right here, when we get up here, 
All right, let's go to the, to the one before I say that. Let's go to the one minute chart. We can see nice candle up here above the 459.89. The nine's on its way up. Once again, the nine has to cross that level before we're looking to go higher on the one. So nice reversal back to the upside, but this nine has to cross this level before we're looking to go in for a trending trade. When things line up and they work great, they work great and can lead to easy money trades. So back to the five, candle right back down, testing the five and the nine, the five is turned up. So if that holds, we can look for further upside. If this doesn't hold, we're looking at a lower high and below this range is going to give us an M pattern. M patterns are bearish, lower highs are bearish. One, two, three reversals are bearish. And that's what we could be looking at right here. If we cross this level, could be pivot point one, pivot point two. And pivot, pivot point three. Well, it'd be pivot, pivot point one. This is pivot point two. This is pivot point three. After you're leaving pivot point three and you cross pivot point two, you're looking for a short trade. It's called a one, two, three reversal. We just look at it as a simple M pattern or W pattern coming back down. Remember, this gives you a trading range to trade in. Price has memory. On the way back down, it's a good chance you're coming into this level. So a trade can be had from right here from this candle coming down. Now, it's got to be personal choice whether you're willing to trade through those moving averages or not. There's times we cut through them like butter, and there's other times that we can't. So you can see this uh, very tower topish up here. Breaking down, falling one, confirming, breaking down, all the way down. Uh, we were calling these patterns out as they were forming in the one-minute chart, leading down with a price target of this range low. We were looking for a trade to come down into the range low, trading short-term expirations. This could be a 50, 60, 70 percent, 80 percent, depending on what asset you're trading, move coming back down to that uh, range low. And that's all we're looking for is small areas to where price can move to catch big trade, to catch, you know, bigger, some catch trades in and that way we're not sitting into the market you know exposed to the market itself we're able to get in make money and get back out so let's go back into the five minute time frame here and breaking that level so pivot point two just got took out so you got your one two three reversal you got your higher low your end pattern a couple different things you can see that there for a bearish move so now we got a nice move down can we continue to see a downside on that got to watch that 50 on the five right there you know small hammer candle uh acting like a little bullish rami but a small hammer candle right there um that can be a signal see what we get higher close uh, once again not perfect but another little morning starish candle here and at this point we were watching i quickly as soon as i seen this reversal i was already drawing and i know some people say uh you know you need three touch points and all that if i see something like that and i think price could come back up to there that gives me a place to take a trade so my levels are all about finding places where it's going to slow price down so i can take a trade on it see what we do get here and did act like a bear flag so the morning star failed turned into an evening star closed below this level actually closed below the 200 at this point let's go back to the one so we broke down below this level right here this candle breaking down we are looking for at this point we target is Back down to the 457.52, and then we need to see how we act when we get to that level. But right now, looks like we're coming down, and the target is back to the 457.52 level. Doesn't mean it's going to go straight there, but that is the target. That is where we think price is getting ready to go. Bear flag, bear flag, can we break it and head lower? Trying, bear flag trying to work. Bear flag turns into an H cell pattern, just triggered it right there. Coming down, target hit. Now, that's just it right there. We got to our target. Take profits because we're looking to see what happens at that level. And right now you can already see the reaction trying to push back up. So we did come in and retouch our level. Trying to go higher here. So right now when we're breaking back higher, the target is our downtrend right here. 
we break that, we're looking to go higher. And don't necessarily have to take profits when you're coming into a downtrend like that, because that could, you know, we could actually go higher through that. I would just want to be ready to take profits. And you can see that five minute candle cut right through that level. Just got a close above. So a close above with the five, the five on the five coming up to nine on the five is coming up to that five on the five is extremely important. And just a reminder, my own personal style of trading, if you did get in down here, for me personally, I would have been taking profits at or around that trend line, and I would not be in this trade. I would be looking for my very next setup. There's nothing wrong with holding through. I just believe in locking profits, getting back in to the trade, and catching more upside after I get to set up. There's nothing wrong with sitting into it. So I would not personally be in this trade, and I would be waiting on my next setup. See what the next candle gives us. Remember, this is the five-minute time frame. Coming back in, that candle tried to come back in, held the nine, held the five, bouncing back up. So we broke out, retested our breakout level, starting to flag here right now. See if we see what the next candle looks like. It's not time to go in yet. Nice H buy pattern, confirmation up above. So what do we wait for now? Now we need to see a candle push up above this uh, breakout candle. Up above the confirmation candle before we go in on it. And this candle coming right back down. Testing this 9. Trying to push up. That candle did not take out the confirmation candle. It gapped up and come in. Did not close above. Next candle. Trying to come back in. Now we know it loves the breakout area. So can we get a retest of the breakout area? Possibly. And coming right back in, held the breakout area. Now, below this breakout area, we're going to watch, of course, we're going to watch a moving average. But below that, we can look for a down move. Now, we know the textbook says most, you know, these pattern trades and we have trend lines. We're actually looking for a retest of the breakout area. So, that is actually a textbook retest of the breakout area. The next candle. Seeing a re reversal, trying to close back above. Now, I'm bullish back up above this level. So let's see what this next candle gives us. We're not looking to enter until we get a candle to close back up above this level. That candle right there actually slightly closed higher. Let's see if we can go higher. We want to see the 9 and the 5 turning up. Trying to work here. Hitting up targets 459.89. Looking to take that out. Um, but I would take profits at that target and then look to get back into it if it cleared that level. It's just the way that I trade. Uh, you do not have to trade like that. Five minute time frame. We just got a confirmation up above that level. We had a five minute candle confirm over our level. Let's go and see what a one minute chart looks like. The one minute got a nice buy H buy pattern type breakout trying to push higher. Kind of hanging around the nine is here on the one retest of the nine right now. So we're going to go back and work off the one minute chart because we're looking for a push up or nine come across or nine cross the level. We could actually have been into the, to the trade looks like on this candle or taking. I never really got to close above. So for me, I would still need to close above that range. I wouldn't have took that trade. Now, there could have been scalps to be had up there looking for the pullback into the nine, which is exactly what we got there. And boom, big down candle. So waiting for the confirmation of that smaller H buy pattern right there. Once again, would have kept us out of a bad trade. Now we're looking for downside here. This candle reversing right higher again. And as soon as we see these three, uh, this you can see the angle here on these three candles. So as soon as we see that, anyway, even if we didn't have that last candle, we're looking for a flag break that's got to clear that area. And I've been staying a little off from my candle bodies. I have not been trying to, and only, I know textbook, stay on your candle bodies. This market's been so sloppy. I've just been leaving a little bit of extra room. So when I say I leave a little bit extra room, not a lot. But you can see that little gap there. I'm touching the wick, not the candle body. Just leaving a little bit extra space just to try to increase my probabilities. That's all. Looking for something to close over that level. Take this range high out. And then we're looking to go higher. Boom. Just got it. See if we can go higher. Nine still trying to come up. A MACD is trying to change character here. 200 coming up. 50 is coming up. All their moving averages are angled up. And this is the one minute time frame. Like I say, normally the five, we'll go ahead and turn that five off because it's not supposed to be on on the one minute time frame. So we're still respecting the nine. We are looking to go higher here. Just need a candle to push up above our confirmation candle. And we're looking to go higher. Just want to see this nine turning up. Nine's trying to turn up. Candle right there closed above. See if we can see these bands open up. MACD going higher. Decent little push. 
and right back in with a possible evening star still trying to go higher that happened pretty that I mean that actually happened pretty fast come back down give us a small evening star gap down just to rip it right back up market's definitely strong here let's go back into the five minute time frame quickly so a five minute candle you can see coming back up you know take taking this level out this pin bar right here this hammer candle pin bar coming down testing that nine so if the candle opened up turn red come down tested that nine and going higher it would have been your a great five minute confirmation candle to take right there confirmed over this one nine crossing the level getting in for that candle right there let's see what we do here next five minute candle and let's turn this five back on trying to go higher here and we're coming in very close to the end of the day you know it's three o'clock in this area come back down retested to 459.89 so looking a little rough up here like i say it, it's well after three o'clock right now this is saying 315 but it's actually i believe it's later in the day than that coming back down so you can already see this level right here i couldn't stop it fast enough but anytime you start to see angles trying to close back above for a bigger h buy pattern um not the craziest about this action here at this time of day trying to go higher there we go broke the flag wanting to go higher trying to respect a nine coming back in and boom right there it's the end of the day um so we did get that little last push right at the end of the day like i say and actually give you a rising one formation right there that failed the rising one is one of the patterns it's one of our patterns that we use anyway there's a lot we talked about and went over a lot of price action in this video and a lot of simple setups that uh, could have just with a little bit of discipline and patience could definitely help keep you out of a lot of bad trades. Um, if you do want to learn to trade the lower time frame charts and of course if, if you're more interested in higher time frame charts, the setups that we are covering here do work on higher time frames. They work on all the time frames. All the patterns that we cover work on the one minute clean up to the monthly and beyond. If that's what you're looking for, the stuff that we cover, you know, can help you out on the higher time frames as well. Uh, if you're looking to learn to trade in shorter time frames with a shorter expiration and basically with less exposure and make, so you're looking to make more money with less exposure in the market. Less exposure means less risk. If you're looking to do that, then this is the place for you. Hope everybody has a great weekend and a as always, I'll see you in the trading room.